Sophie also Nietzsche suspends employees over alleged workplace orgies Nietzsche official suspended two employees tied to the alleged on the clock A day after the Post exposed the fact that no city housing authority employee had been disciplined over the alleged on the clock orgies at the Throgs Neck houses in the Bronx, Nietzsche higher ups belatedly suspended two workers without pay pending hearings. It's a start, we guess. Yet the investigation started back in May. That's when outraged workers blew the whistle to the city department of investigation. Yet it wasn't until last Friday that Nietzsche cracked down by transferring every worker at the complex to other projects That's three months, on top of however long it was before the whistleblowers acted that residents suffered their repair complaints getting the cold shoulder while workers were getting hot and steaming with each other at wild on-site parties Some employees reportedly even put in for overtime for this work. Vito Mastasiolo came in as acting Nietzsche general manager in February, Stanley Breeze in off as interim chairman at the end of April. When did they learn of this scandal? We were glad to see Bronx City Councilman Richie Torres and Mark Jonich complaining Tuesday about Nietzsche's failure to discipline any workers and pointing out that simply transferring the staff put residents at other projects at risk We wonder, though, if they can get the rest of the council to go along with looking at the union contracts that make it near impossible for management to crack down even when misbehavior is this shocking The case for privatizing as much of Nietzsche as possible just keeps getting stronger 